Okay, I guess this is part four. So I mounted the uh, speedometer part in the back of the panel. And I was just going to, I can't really make it run without the truck, so maybe I'll do a video later. But I was just going to show the other uh, other gauges. Battery at 12 volts is a little, little below half. Um, the thing on this is, my original 54 F100 instrument uh, gauges had idiot lights for oil and battery. Now I could have spent I don't know 25 to 50 bucks and bought uh, gauges for oil and battery, <clears throat> and those have the division. I think it's just uh, the five, so it's quarter markers on the gauge. And then I guess oil would say low and high, and battery would say probably low and high. They didn't have actual um, like a you know eight volt, fourteen volts. They didn't show the voltage on the on any of these gauges. It's like on the temp doesn't actually have the temp. So I just use the faceplate from the. From mine because I didn't want to spend more money on getting the face plates. I guess I could someday and put those in without much problem. So um, I just have it rigged up with a rheostat uh, a variable uh, resistor and I think I can uh, hook this up and make the I think the battery's already sitting uh, 12 volts so that one and at 14 it's about straight up uh, fuel gauge here this is the this is the sender out of the hold it down here this is the sender out of the Astro van and I'm gonna pull the uh, sender out of mine and put this one in there so that's empty and that's full and that way I know this sender will work uh, with this gauge so on fuel um, I think empty is 0 ohms and full is get it up there all the way and full is about a hundred ohms resistor, resistance on the fuel gauge so I know this one if I mount this one in my tank and I put the I mount it so the float is right down towards the bottom I'll get that up over here I'll mount it so the floats right down at the bottom and then I'll be able to with just a maybe an inch in in uh, level I'll be able to see what the gauge does so on the range of this thing looks like quarter will be well it's gonna it's gonna go through its bottom quarter pretty fast because that's only about that's only about an inch and a half of travel there whereas the quarter to half is a couple inches and then the top end is going to be that right there is probably so three quarter to half is going to be about half a tank so anyway better than a stick down the filler hole let's see uh, oil pressure here oh, let's do uh, temp Temp ranges, um, open this thing up and down. Temp range is about 150 ohms on cold, up to zero ohms on hot. And I don't know, I'm hoping that this will run, normal temperature will be about right in the middle. I, I hate gauges that are, you know, some are 
when you're driving some on normal range are a bit to the left and some are a bit to the right seems like they could make them so all the gauges pointing straight up are normal range but yeah nice wishing they'd make sense out of those things oil pressure sender is actually opposite of the temp sender it's um, at low oil pressure it's at zero ohms again I'm hoping my I think this is set um, what I did was I mounted the gauge motor on the back and then I actually plugged it into the sender and got it up to like operating temperature for temperature and stuck the needle on so it's like pointing straight up so I think this is uh, about 40 psi on the oil and then high oil pressure is up around 75 ohms I guess that's so if the thing breaks like on oil pressure if it breaks it goes to well it should go to high ohms I guess if you lose it if you lose the connection yeah it goes all the way up so maybe it isn't a fail safe sort of thing so anyway, those are the gauges, and next step is to stick it in and see how it all works. I probably ought to paint the needle for the speedometer orange like it is for the other ones. I can still that do that while I before I mount it in there. So anyway, that's my uh, instruments. I got to get my lights, turn turn indicator lights, high beam light. No, I have one around here. I got some lights to plug into that that socket there, and uh, get this thing mounted, and I'll have it have all my gauges. So I'll probably take it for a test drive when I get this mounted up, and do another video.